So if you saw my hose cart assembly, that nice little gift that Mr. Blue Jeans gave me, you'll see I am indefinitely enjoying it. I roll it down the front aisle here. I'm able to get to most of the rows. Something I've learned is as we progress and make our row gardens, because I want a lot more raised beds, I'm finding raised beds to really be the way I want to go. And I know there are certain things that are going to have to go into a row garden and those are going this fall. Um, my asparagus is doing great, but it has taken over the world here. Um, I need to make wider paths with the row gardens for the cart to fit down. But as, I mean, it's supposed to reel the hose off. It's exactly what it's doing and it's been wonderful. So the next thing I'm working on, and I'm not sure what to do about it, is watering. So we went from no water, as almost all of you know. We had no water here. We used to drive an hour and a half to the only friend we knew when we moved to this town to her house to get a half a thing of IBC water because it was such a long drive and we couldn't fill it. It was too heavy for the truck. And four people were living off a half an IBC for about three weeks. <laughs> so we've come a long way. So now I'm in the luxury zone of having water right here off a hose in the garden. And that's wonderful but I want more. <laughs> what I want is more time with Mr. Blue Jeans and I being the only two people who are full time here and the girls help tremendously, but they've got children, full time jobs. You know what I mean? It's just they can't be here at 810. We're taking care of the chickens at 735. I'm watering the garden. It doesn't work for them. So it's, it's, it's Mr. Blue Jeans and I right now who are the caretakers of everything. And watering for a larger garden has now become a time sink. I really want to thoroughly water each raised bed, uh, like three to four minutes. I had an idea, let me show you. I got, I got this sprinkler. You can see my ravaged, oh, my broccoli. These bugs just killed my broccoli this year. So I got this sprinkler. And I really like it, but it's not doing what I wanted. I wanted more of a, of a, of a bubble. And um, I'm gonna probably take that sprinkler and when I figure out how to get the beds watered and use it out here in the, uh, in the row garden. I think it will do a fine job out where we're enlarging the garden, out back here. And you guys know I talked about this last year. So no promises, but where that blue is and a little bit beyond, is where we're hoping to enlarge to put the asparagus and the horseradish and the mango beets and the other things that are just not going to work obviously in in our our tin raised beds so i think that sprinkler set here in the corner and shooting out over the tomatoes and all of that you know early in the morning the, the melons and the candy squash and what have you out here that'll work just fine but the raised beds are a problem because Standing here for three or four minutes for each raised bed daily is a lot of time and there's going to be more raised beds. I need to be canning. I need to be finishing the farmhouse. We were drywalling today, so now I'm out here this evening watering instead of doing it in the morning. Um, you, know, you know what I mean? There's always that other thing that needs to happen and because we're, we're still in the setting up stage, there's a lot of other things that need to happen and a lot of things that are half done that need to be fully done. And that's what we're doing this year. We're trying to button up all those half done things and have them fully done. So what do you do? Do you use a soaker? Do you just set out a sprinkler? Um, I realize a lot of you probably hand water. It doesn't work for me right now. It just, I just don't have the ability to do that right now. And then even if I have this sprinkler in here, which it is getting everything wet, including the leaves, which I don't love. But um, even if I had more of a bubbler, I still have to move it every few minutes, which isn't terrible. It's not me standing there, but it's also still keeping me down in the garden. I'm not walking out my back door. I'm hiking up the hill <laughs> down here. There was no place to put a garden up there. Too many trees, too angled. It just didn't work. The garden had to be here. This was our flat area. Uh, so soaker hose. Let me know what you guys do. This one, this is a really quandary, quandary for me because I have not had to deal with water. Used to be when I lived in a suburbia type area when I was a kid, we would just pick up the hose and hand water. It wasn't a homesteading situation. So what do you all do for 
watering your garden, if you're trying to be hands-free and, and kind of um, steal away that time to get other things done, let me know. I could really use some, uh, some suggestions and um, some ideas from all of you. So if you hadn't had a chance, check out this video or this video. And if you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. I come to you with what we're doing here. I love to cook. There'll be more cooking coming soon. Uh, and building, we're doing the drywall, so I'll be showing you some drywall videos. And I just really appreciate you coming around and, and uh, watching the Five Dog Farm YouTube channel. This is Nikki D from Five Dog Farm, and I'll talk to you soon.